Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to Solid Gold and welcome to day eight of Vlogmas. Today is a beautiful, beautiful day outside. I've got my London Fog Latte in my Tokyo mug. So yeah, life is good. <laughs> I have a ton of animal tasks that I have to get to today, both in here in the house and out in the fish room. So today's just gonna be kind of a follow me around kind of day and I'll show you how I take care of some of my animals. First things first, I have three hungry cats staring me down and a hungry rabbit waiting to be fed. So let's get to those guys first. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do before I leave on Friday to go visit my family in Minnesota. I'm so excited, but there's always like so much to do before before going on a trip. Have you been waiting? Been waiting so patiently, you're a good boy. Sammy, I've talked about this in other videos too, but Sammy is on a medically required prescription diet to keep his kidneys healthy because he has pre-kidney disease. Roger, are you ready to? Roger also is on a medically required prescription diet, but his is for urinary tract problems. He tends to get a ton of crystals in his urine, so he has to have special food as well. And Grim, the other day, probably like three days ago, I took all of the toys that he had collected out of his bowl because it was getting ridiculous. There was literally like 10 toys in here. And ever since then, he's been adding one or two new toys a day. I don't even know where he finds these things. He must like pull them out from under the couch or something. Good morning, bunny. Good morning, bunny. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Let's give him his medicine and then I'll fill up his food bowls too. Oh my gosh, you're so excited. You're so excited. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give Henry his medicine. You guys saw the other day when I took him to the vet and got this for him. He just has a little bit of a respiratory infection. So he is getting this, I think it's Batril actually, some antibiotic. All right, Henry, settle down. So I just hold him like this so he can't jerk around too much. And, oh, it's okay, it's okay, yep, you're good, you're good. He's a little bit of a spaz. There we go, there we go. There, see, all done. <laughs> I find one of the most important things when dealing with a really jumpy animal is to stay calm. No matter how jumpy or agitated they get, try to control your, yourself and stay as calm as possible because it will help calm them down too. <laughs> Don't spill it. As far as an update on Henry's respiratory infection, it seems to be definitely not getting any worse. One of the things that the vet told me to look out for was any discharge or gunkiness coming from his eyes, and his eyes are still perfectly perfectly dry around them and really, really healthy looking and clear. I still see a little bit of green on the upper corners of his nostrils. So he's not 100% yet, but he certainly doesn't seem to be feeling bad. He's acting, he's acting healthy and happy and active, so that's good anyways. Doesn't that look delicious? Every time I feed him, somebody commented this too before, I can't remember who you were, so I'm sorry, but uh, they commented that every time I feed him the lettuce, it looks so delicious and it makes them want a salad, and I feel the same way. I also need to fill up his hay rack, so that'll be the next thing. Actually, you know what? His litter boxes need to be cleaned, so I'm gonna do that while he's distracted with his breakfast. This is a really good example of how well he uses his litter box though. I haven't cleaned his litter boxes in probably like five days I would say, and there are no bunny poops anywhere in his whole cage except for one right there and one right there. All of the rest of them are contained in one of his two litter boxes. You enjoying that lettuce little bun? So Henry has two litter boxes. I just use these little Tupperware shoebox container type things. They're a little bit bigger than the shoebox size, but you get the picture. And then as a base, I use this cat litter that's called Yesterday's News. It is like paper litter. And I do a couple scoops of that in each box. And then I top it with just a little bit of hay. And when I sweep out this little cage area here to get all this loose hay and loose droppings, I'll 
I'll put that inside one of his litter boxes. He probably doesn't need that because at this point he's really, really good about using his litter boxes and he knows where they are and everything. But especially when you're first training your rabbit how to use the litter box, it really helps them out if you put some of their droppings in the litter box so they kind of know, okay, this is where this is where my droppings go. <laughs> Henry's a happy bunny now with a clean cage and fresh food and water. I give him a water bowl instead of a water bottle. He likes it better, so that's what Henry gets. And the kitties need fresh water. Excuse me, Sammy. Excuse me. That's where this one goes. Excuse me. Thank you. He drinks water so weird. He drinks right at the edge of the bowl, like purposefully spilling it over the edge. Somebody said in the comments of one of my videos that they look for the cat butt magnets in every video, so here you go. Your daily dose of cat butt magnets. Okay, time to go out to the fish room and take care of some animals out there. Let's go. Look what a beautiful day it is. It's gorgeous. It's still a little too warm for me, but hey, this beats Minnesota winters for sure. Hello, fish room. First things first, I need to clean out the dart frog tank. It's looking a little dirty, so I'm gonna clean that out. I've already shown you guys in a video how I do that, so I'm not gonna film it. But then I need to feed them and I also need to start a couple of new fruit fly cultures. I've only got these two going right now. So I need to start a couple new cultures and I'll probably show you guys the quick and dirty version of how I do that. Hey little dude, what are you doing? That's not where the flies are, the flies are over there. <laughs> I could watch these guys eat forever, but I have other stuff to do, so I have to stop watching them. <laughs> All right, so I mentioned that I have to make a couple of new fruit fly cultures. Here are the ones that are currently, they're really producing really, really well right now, which is awesome. Uh, but I have to make a couple new ones for when these ones start slowing down. Now, if these ones were old and nasty, I would put them in the freezer. And let me show you. I actually have some in the freezer right now. Oh my gosh, I have four in the freezer. I need to clean this out. But basically, once they get so old and so nasty that you want to restart them, you actually don't have to throw them away completely. You can reuse the cups if you just throw them in the freezer until they get nice and frozen solid and then run them under hot water to loosen it up. And then you can just dump out the whole thing in the garbage and wash the cup and restart it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wash out these four cups and start a new culture. Here's the Fruit Fly Media just comes in a powder. It's just like mixing up gel food for your fish. If you've ever done that before, you just mix it with water. Microwave it, let it set up. Before it fully sets up, you have to get a little clump of this Excelsior and smoosh it down into the media so it actually sets in there and holds it in place. And this is for the flies to kind of crawl around on and the media is for them to eat. All right, now I've got some cleanup to do and I'm gonna put these in the fridge just to help them cool down a little bit quicker. And once they cool down, I'll put some starter flies in there and they'll be done. While we're waiting for the fruit fly cultures to be done, let's feed some goldfish. So cute. I'm gonna turn off the air pump so you guys can see them better. Come here, it's up here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, get excited. <laughs> Who wants this other piece? Anyone? Class? Anyone? Bueller, there you go. Come on, right here. There you go. Oh, look at you, are so cute. Oh my God, they're so cute. They're so dramatic when they eat, my goodness. Better check on the leopard geckos over here too. Can't forget them. The cool thing about leopard geckos is they pick one spot of their cage to go to the bathroom in and they do that. So the spot they chose initially was that back corner and then they started using this whole side. So I just put paper towels down on that side. Hey Sylvia. And I don't even have to clean their entire cage all that often. All I really have to do is pick up these paper towels and put down some new ones. Come here, Lucy. You wanna come say hi? So cute. Get 
tickles. <laughs> All right, come on, Lucy. There you go. <laughs> All right, these fruit fly cups are cooled off now to the point where I can add some starter flies. I'm gonna shake out some flies into this collection cup with some bug blade on it. This helps prevent mites in your fruit fly cultures, which can crash your cultures, uh, which would be very bad. So this is basically, I think this is just like pre-packaged diatomaceous earth, to be honest with you. Well, that's about all of the animal tasks I have for today for out here in the fish room. Oh, and I saw all of your guys' comments about this tea being the wrong way. And yeah, I don't know how that happened. I was being like so conscious about making sure they were all facing the right way. And yet, that still happened. So thanks for pointing that out, guys. I will fix that. Thankfully, I haven't actually glued anything together yet, so it's no biggie. I don't think I'll get much farther on like building stuff out here until probably after I come back from my Christmas trip to visit my family in Minnesota because there's a lot of other things I have to do to get ready for my trip. So yeah, fish room's gonna remain a mess for a little while, but that's okay. Better feed the plecos and tetras in my 90 gallon inside too. I got a new zucchini slice for the plecos and some flakes for the tetras. Better feed the axolotls too. I've got their red wiggler worms all ready to go. Hey you, you're the biter, aren't you? You're the feisty one. You ready to eat some worms? I think she is. I think she knows it's coming. Don't bite me. I will not forgive you. Jesus. <laughs> So I'm just sitting here at my computer editing this video to post later today and I keep hearing Sammy like kind of scream yowling over and over and he does it sometimes when he gets really hyper so I just thought in the back of my mind like oh Sammy must be freaking out outside about a lizard or something but it went on for just a little too long so finally I went out to investigate and I had to search the whole entire house before I finally found him. So this is the scene that I came upon and warning it's extremely pathetic. Sammy are you stuck? He must have jumped up here on top of this dresser and then jumped down onto the floor. And now he can't get out. Come on, Sammy, jump up here. Come on. Don't make me rescue you. Come on, Sammy. You can do it. Come on. Come on, Sammy. Come on. Sammy. You're really just screaming for help in here? Seriously? Don't worry, I did save him and he's fine now, so I don't, I don't know. Thanks for watching another episode of Vlogmas, guys. If you haven't already, don't forget to get your 2018 solid gold calendar, and I'll see you next time. Until then, stay gold.